Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is day 51 as we are owning it, reading through the word. And today, uh, I got a question for you. Have you, uh, have you ever been jumped? Have you ever been, uh, uh, you know, beat up or, or had that moment? Let me just share with you. When I remember when I was a kid, uh, at one point, my friend and I were walking and, and uh, the Chase brothers, um, there's three of them. Jason, uh, I think Kevin was another one. I can't remember the third guy. One was a year younger, and the other guys were older than I, I was. And uh, they jumped me, and they started to uh, um, started to beat me up, right? And uh, you know, being the good friend that my friend was, he uh, he ran. Right? He was smart, but he ran to go get my dad. Now, understand, my stepfather. Um, was not a very loving man, and and many of you who know me have heard some of my stories uh, about how I was treated by him. But it was amazing. I, I remember this moment being on the ground as I was being kicked, and and looking and seeing uh, my stepfather um, running. I guess you call it running. He doesn't really run, but coming to my aid. And the minute the uh, the Chase brothers saw that, they they laughed and and. Uh, um, he came and, and um, you know, took care of the things. And, and as I read Psalms 42, 43, again, if you were there with me on Sunday, you understand there's really one book. Um, there's a recurring uh, statement that the author of the, the, the Psalms 42, 43 says, says, why are you downcast, O my soul? I'm reading uh, verse 5, and it says, And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. And as I read that today, I thought one more time, I thought about that instance, and recognizing that what the author is saying, what the psalmist is saying is, Why am I worried? I know who has me. I know who's going to be there. And for me, it was my stepfather that was coming and, and who, again, I always questioned whether he loved me or not, but he wasn't going to let anybody pick on me. He wasn't going to let somebody just ruthlessly, ruthlessly beat me up, right? But we've got a God that loves us. And that's what the psalmist is saying is, I have no reason to be downcast. I have no reason to worry. I have no reason to fret, you know, because I hope in God. I hope in the one who created the heavens and the earth. And wherever you're at at this moment, in this time, in this season, no matter what's going on in your life, recognize who is it that you have? Who is it that you have faith in? Who is it that you have hope in? Because if you are a child of God, he says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He said that he will work all things out to the good for those who are called according uh, to his plan's purpose, those that love him. That for those of us that are following God, the bad things may happen, but we always have a hope in God because he's the creator of all things and he makes sure everything works and everything flows because he is the biggest one on the block.